this is the Airlift 1000 adjustable air springs up to a thousand pounds load leveling support and all it is is a airbag with the nipple on the top that an airline's going to run to with the valve on the end of it to air them up up to 35 pounds and all this is going to do is help add a little more stability to the back end of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk when I hook up the pop-up camper. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and replace some of my lug nuts since I have to remove the back tires so I can get up in there to access that spring easier because the ones that come factory have a chrome piece that slides over the top and they swell and when they get bad enough you can't get a wrench on them to get them off so I'm gonna go ahead and replace those with the solid chrome lug nuts I got off all those won't swell I don't know why the factory's not putting solid lug bolts on these things but anyway I'll kind of show you a little bit as I go it's not a, a big deal the hardest part is going to be sliding these in the spring because uh, I'm not going to take the springs out of the Jeep so the idea is to squish this down so you can shove it up through the coil and work it up in there so we'll see how this goes I'm not going to put a camera on there uh, I do have a old wood spoon I'm going to use to stick in there and help pry it around uh, but that's what we're after right now okay I'm going through the top and pushing it down okay so that is the easiest way to do it is you're going to push it down through here like I said you're going to push all the air out of it put that cap on it to keep the air out of it and then you're going to kind of hot dog it until it fits in there I'm going to go ahead and get my air hose and clamp ready to put on this nipple. And that air hose, I have to excuse the train guys, that air hose going to go up into the center of this. I pop this out so I can get up in there behind there and then run that air line out to the top of the frame back there or somewhere back there. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so... I've got it in there. I've got the airline through the top of this. And like I said, I just uh, had to use the train. We got a train parked right behind us. <coughs> but anyway, I squeeze this tube or bag through right here. It wasn't too big a deal. And then I went ahead and put my clip on my line, airline here. And I ran it up through there and then I put it on the nipple and it does have a clamp. Let's see if I can get that little piece up there where you can see it. Okay, you should be able to see the little clamp there. And then this piece here just slides over the top of that. Basically, this is gonna ride on that. And when I let it down, just these gaps here and this gap down here it's gonna close up. Uh, there's still just a little bit of indention back around here, but that's gonna come out when I put a little air to it. But yeah, uh, it's not that bad. I'm gonna run, you gotta keep your airline away from your heat sources, your exhaust, but it goes up and then it goes behind this and it's over the top of this piece here in between there and there, you know, up in here. And then I'm going to run it on up front, keep it away from the exhaust. And I want to run separate nipples stared up in case I want to put more air in one side than the other. So I'm going to put an air valve right here in this corner. And then I'm going to put the same air valve, another air valve I mean, in this corner. But so far it's been a really easy uh, setup. Uh, I'm going to complete this side 
go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and run the airline and the air valve and then we'll go from there I finally got this side in I don't know why I struggle so hard with it once you get that folded into a hot dog shape this is like half and it's kind of folded over again it goes in pretty easy now like the other side I'm gonna put my line on run it up to there and then run the line I mean it's done getting them in the spring is the the hardest part okay so the air ride or air lift as you can see the sticker on the back window is completely installed I did have a little more issue on that side just because I didn't get that bag folded into a hot dog right now once I figured out you know they say put it in a hot dog shape for a reason uh, once I got it in that hot dog shape it went right in and you can see at the bumper on both corners is where I put my air valves the one right there and then there's one right there and you know I may never run different pressures in those bags but if I ever choose to I can where if I teed them together you know it all be the same air pressure uh, as long as you keep them checked you're not going to be fine I did a soapy water leak down test and so far there's been no leaks found uh, I went ahead and put 10 pounds of pressure. It says to run them with 5 pounds minimum. So I went ahead and put 10 in there. And uh, I put a, if I put my ice cold refrigerator and some of my camping gear in the back, that's just going to make up for the difference in weight. And, uh, you know, keep it from squatting that little bit. And if I air it up a little more, uh, it'll be more than enough to help keep the back end up when I hook the pop-up up. But there it is, guys. It's really easy install. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't feeling good. I've been fighting the cold. But uh, I wanted to get this done. So when I am feeling good, we can hit the streets. <laughs> so it's done. I probably played around with it for about three hours. And that's drinking coffee and taking it easy. And I actually didn't film near what I thought it was going to when I installed this because I just was not feeling it and I still wanted to get it installed which it is and I think I left enough in here that you know it's easy the instructions are pretty clear and the instructions that come with this these were made for the Trailhawk and it uh actually the instructions tell you how to put them in for the Trailhawk like the little clip that you remove inside the tire right here to access your airline you know all that's in the instructions so yeah i was pretty impressed they seem like they're going to hold up pretty good uh, most of the reviews i've read and watched have been pretty positive so uh we'll try these out for a while and just see how they do thank y'all for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button well hello and welcome back to Outdoors for Adventure. We're going to talk a little more about the Airlift 1000 adjustable air springs up to 1000 pounds load leveling support in this video. You can also get an onboard air compressor system to go with these if you so choose. Just contact airliftcompany.com. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little more detail of how I hooked it up on the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I'm also going to get the camper ready to put on the hitch so y'all will see how much the airbags help in the squat of the rear end of the Cherokee. And let's just go ahead and walk around here to some numbers. Uh, right there are numbers. Dry weight, 2,313 pounds. Let's see. Anyway, that's the, the numbers of the camper. 
and we're just gonna back up we'll lower the ball down on the Jeep with no air in the bags and then we'll do it again with air in the bags and measure how much clock we get so stay tuned all right guys this is the airbags installed in the spring of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk okay I have driven it went over a few bumps and everything has settled and then uh, right now they have uh, probably about 15 20 pounds of pressure in them we are resting on the bottom and it's also you can't see it but it's resting on the top so it's, it's really can't see but the airline goes straight up in between the fender skirt and the body and then it comes this is the let's see if I can get this around here the fender skirt here and you can see the line I hope you can see the line I get my hand up in there and point. That black is the airline, and I zip tied it right here. I need to cut the end off. But I zip tied it. That's the wire that's going to a light that holds it up there because you see my exhaust is right here. Now, you go on up in the corner of my bumper. Sorry about the bad video, people. My hand getting all in the way. Oh, I'm sorry, that ain't my hand. That's the exhaust pipe. Anyway, there's a good, I can get my fist in between the, probably two fists in between the airline and the exhaust pipe. So there's plenty of room here for heat. And then up in here, that, that's the corner of my bumper. So let me get to the rear of the vehicle and I'll show you where the airline comes out. Okay, this is where it comes out. I need to clean that up some, but anyway. Uh, I went ahead and I used two valves so I can air up individually. So there's one here and of course there's one in the same spot on the other side. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so now you know exactly how I've got it in there. Let's go ahead and get it backed up to the camper and see what weight does to it. Okay, I've got the Jeep underneath the hitch we are not lowered down on it yet first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the needles out of the valves so we have zero air in the bags I had 15 pounds in them Side get the other side. They held air all night. go ahead and take a measurement to the ground to the hitch where the bottom of that is 21 and 3 quarters 21 and 3 quarters and from the ground to the bottom of our flare we're at 34 and a half 
uh, 21 and 3 quarters there. So let's go ahead and lower the tamper down on the ball. Nowhere in the back. Okay, we are completely on the Jeep. We are 20 and a half. So what's that, about an inch and a quarter? 21 and three quarters, there's an inch. Inch and a half. We're gonna say we dropped an inch and a half. Now I'm gonna pause the video for a minute. I'm gonna put the air needles back in here. Oh, before I do that, let's go ahead and measure the fender here. Thirty-three. We're gonna say thirty-three and a half. So there's an inch there, inch and a half there, drop, and that's gonna be the front's gonna went up. Uh, I'll go ahead and measure with it up. The front right now is at 34. So let me take this back off. Okay, we're off now. Let's go back to the front. The front's 33 and a half. So the front went up a half inch when we had the camper on the ball. And that's one thing I wanted to do with these airbags is that half inch I don't want the front coming up and I'm hoping that's going to stop that because as the front end goes up you get more angle on that front CV axle and I'm already at a two inch lift so it's got enough angle as it is. So if I could keep that front end from coming up that half inch that's going to keep that extra angle off of that axle too. So I'm going to put the needles back in and put uh, maybe 20 25 pounds of pressure in and we'll go from there. I'm gonna pause y'all. Okay, so I got my Stanley Fat Max out and this has, you can set the pressure and it'll stop when it reaches that pressure. So I set this at 25 PSI. Now, these are a thousand pound springs at 35 PSI, or helper uh, bags. So I'm just gonna assume that I don't need 35 PSI because I'm not looking at a thousand pounds. Uh, at max, my tongue weight limit on my Cherokee is 450 pounds. And I've weighed my camper before, fully loaded, and I was like 350, 380 pounds. Uh, so, and that's with the refrigerator in the back of my Jeep. Now, those who want to know on this Rockwood 1910 ESP, it's got, I think, like a 20 gallon water tank under it. And it sets far enough that when I filled the water tank up, it hardly added much tongue weight at all. Just for those who want to know. But anyway, I'm going to turn this on. We're going to put 25 psi in each airbag, and then we're going to lower the camper back down. PSI right there. Now I'm going to poke this over there and do the same thing.
25 PSI. Alright. Now if you remember, so with no air, we dropped an inch and a half at the fall. So let's go down. I don't think it moved at all. We are at... Twenty... One. Twenty... I'm going to say twenty and three quarters. So let's take it back off. This is at 21 and 3 quarters. Let's take it all the way. It's all the way. Still drop three quarters of an inch. Let's air it up to 30. So even filled up almost all the way, we still drop the rear of the Jeep about three quarters of an inch. So at 30 PSI, we have no weight on the Jeep. So the front of the Jeep is at 33 and three quarters right now.
So let's put the weight back on the Jeep. So we just reduced the lift, the front lifting by three sixteenths. Let's measure it again. This time. Okay, we are at 30 and a quarter because I'll put a block underneath it. So let's take it off. Something going up. Go measure it. Nothing on it. We're at 30 and an eighth. We're at 30 and an eighth on the front with the camper on the Jeep. 30 and an eighth. We'll take the camper off the Jeep. I took the camper off the Jeep. We're at 30 and a 16th. So that's very minimal front end raise. So I feel better about not adding more angle to my front CV axle. Now just for no weight on the camper, let's put that block back here too. That way I'm getting more precise measurement. That's it. I'm off the deep. when I'm towing the, the trailer. Now when I have the refrigerator, uh, when I was running my ice car refrigerator in the, the hatch area, that ice car alone, I believe is 60 pounds, not loaded. And it takes up the whole trunk of my Jeep. So when that's back there with food in it, you know, you're probably looking over 100 pounds. Uh, so you could probably run 10, 15, 20 pounds pressure in the bags and help with that. Now I did get another refrigerator that's coming, uh, set power. It'll be here soon and it's gonna take up way less space and I dropped 30 pounds of refrigerator weight. So uh, I'm looking forward to having that come. We'll be doing some reviews on it so y'all stay tuned about that too. And, uh, but yeah, the bags definitely help keep the back from squatting and kept the front closer. You're looking at what, 16th of an inch? Now on the half inch. I can live with that. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that that's going to handle better. Now when we do our trips coming up soon, uh, I'll let y'all know how that, that goes. But anyway, that's going to complete this video. I just wanted to show you uh, how much these help. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and put the weight back on the Okay, the weight is on the, the Jeep. And let me grab y'all and just give you a shot of what the airbags look with 30 PSI in the bags and weight on. Okay guys, this is the uh, Airlift 1000 bag with 30 PSI of air in it. 35 PSI is the maximum. And this is what it looks like with weight, the full weight of my pop-up on the bag in spring. I think that's going to work pretty good. I, I really like the fact that it's not pulling my front up, front end up anymore and causing an increased, much of an increase on my CV axle. So that's going to do it for this video y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you want to do a install of these bags is really pretty simple thanks for watching okay guys this is what the jeep cherokee looks like with the weight of my pop-up on the hitch as you can tell it's sitting pretty even and i measured from the ground 
to the bottom of the fender flare there and I'm at 34 inches and then I moved to the front and I measured from the bottom of the fender to the ground and it's also at 34 inches so the airbags are doing what I want and uh, like I said we'll make a trip soon with the pop-up and we'll see how